Politicians across the state have long lobbied for greater access to broadband internet as a way to develop rural economies. Newswatch 12's Morgan Johnson joins us now live in studio with more on this problem and the, and the push to expand it in the Northwoods. Morgan. Justin, many communities in the Northwoods lack basic access to broadband. This means everyone in the area has much slower internet speeds than people living in cities. Is the owner of choice tell a broadband provider in Eagle River? He said federal funding primarily goes to big cities through companies like AT&T, while smaller communities are sometimes ignored. Bogman believes smaller companies like his would use federal dollars more efficiently. The big incumbent providers, they contract everything out and they're paying, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars a mile to have cable put in the ground when I can go out there and do it for $10,000 a mile. Bogman relies on state funding. He hopes federal funding will support rural broadband access in the future. To learn more about broadband access in the Northwoods, visit our website, wjfw.com. Justin? Voters in Wisconsin.